I told y'all not to worry, and then I said I would go into specifics. Today, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite, Space Station Gaming. What's good, guys? Welcome to another episode of uh, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, is what we're going to call it. I spent a lot of time thinking about that title. It's actually a book my English teacher recommended to me many of times just to keep myself above water. But anyway... Space Station Gaming, I think, are a team that you've got to be a little bit positive about here. I habitually am not very positive about Space Station Gaming. I don't pull many punches, and I believe that they are over-exaggerated as to how strong they are. I think that people... The Barracuda Effect, I, I, I frequently comment on. I think that the Barracuda Effect is, is pretty real. Everybody kind of likes Jeff and Barra, and that's why they're fans. And that's cool. Like, I, I'm not taking that away from people. I think that's very, very... Uh, I think that's awesome, the way that people kind of flock to them. But... I think there's a mismatch. I think people kind of think that the team is better than they are because they're such big fans, and that kind of hurts me a little bit. But um, realistically speaking, this is a strong team. Don't forget, they did... I mean, they, they won their show match against the United. It was a show match. It's whatever. But they came in first in the spring split. That That's a big deal, right? Now, they had Baskin, and everything has gone south since the spring split, but that included Baskin along for the ride. So... They came in first in 2018 in the spring split, right? And then for Smite Masters, they only took home the bronze. And then the summer split, they came in second. They didn't do well in the summer finals. And here in the fall, they came in third. But they had a different mid laner. And the game is incredibly dependent on mid laners and junglers kind of having this synergy that we talk about. And what does this synergy mean? And I think that the, the, the obvious conversation is just that this team has more time to bake in the oven with a new mid laner in Venenu, right? And Baskin is is probably just the best player in the world as far as like how good he is at Smite game, right? And I think that's a, a universal thought that some people meme a little bit, but let's be real, Baskin's just that fucking good. Um, the difference, the distance between himself and other players, though, I think is smaller than people are, are really willing to to admit or or figure out. And so, Baskin might be number one, and losing him from your roster theoretically is a hit. But I think the Venenu is very strong. Don't forget, this guy is MVP was was world's MVP, right? I mean, this guy is very, very, very strong. So I think Venenu, as a trade for Baskin, is a talent downgrade but just barely i mean you know we're not going from coca-cola to tab right we are we're we're downgrading from a maserati to a maybach right we're, we're still in a very good position if you're an ssg fan and on top of that and i think this is the key here this guy fits into the system a little bit better Venenu is just more of a space station gaming player than Baskin. Um, as far as the org is concerned, I think that Baskin is, a, or I think that Venenu is a little bit more involved. Uh, he streams a shitload. He's more on the scene. He's more of a personality, more of a character. And that's really what SSG is looking for as an organization. That's why they're close to my heart. I think they get it better than other teams. You can't just win. You have to be charismatic and win and that's the space station gaming kind of brand if you will i hate to use such sterile clinical industry speak like branding but th th that's the space station brand and while that has nothing to do with their victory i like to see that look overall and then you want to extrapolate that if it fits in with the brand maybe the brand is a little bit more happy to deal with the team although space station gaming was plenty happy with baskin maybe i'm going down an alley that doesn't need to be go gone down but i think the obvious one is is what i was talking about the time of the gym venenu fits better with the squad both brand wise and team wise you look at who is surrounding him on this squad? You look at Barracuda, you look at Jeff, you look at Aquarius, you look at even Andenster. And I think that, for the most part, Venenu just kind of fits in a little bit better than Baskin. Baskin is a big ego guy, um, which isn't always necessarily a strong negative. You can have a big ego and still be successful. And I think, you know, Baskin kind of toes the line. It's when you have a big ego and you're just unwilling to really listen to anybody and just say fuck off that that's when your ego kind of becomes an issue. Being confident in yourself and making shot calls and, and being a big ego guy isn't inherently a bad thing. But I think that Andenster 
While I would struggle to say that he has a large ego, he's very introverted. He's not going to scream and yell and be in the spotlight like somebody like me. Um, he, Andy is, is very confident in what he does, believe it or not. It, it doesn't really come off that way. He, he can seem very nervous at land and he is very nervous at land. And that is part of what contributed to his history as Landonster. But Andy is a guy that, that will make the shot calls and, and will be confident in his ability to play fucking smite game. I mean, this guy, this guy is a winner. He's a legend. And I think Baskin and him... Whether or not they they butt head they butted heads is is a different story, right? I don't have that info, and I wasn't there for the scrims. But I think that it was clear that communication got jumbled in those games, and I think you're you're walking into a world where there's too many cooks, right? There's 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 uh, too many chiefs and not enough soldiers, too many cooks in the kitchen, uh, and not enough runners, and and that was a problem I think for space station gaming from again from the outside looking in. And I think that the Switch to Vinenu is much better. When you talk about Space Station Gaming and how they shot call, and it's there is generally the answer, but there's a lot of, they do things by committee, which which I, I, I strongly believe in. I think it's sort of like, you make a call and everybody follows it, but then there's a conversation about it if time allows. If time doesn't allow, you just follow what the shot caller, in this case, Anister says. I think Vinenu is going to be able to contribute to conversation there very well. Also, off the court, off the field, if you will, basketball invading my life, I think that uh, Vinaini was somebody that also worked very hard off the field. Now, I'm sure that Baskin kind of put in his time and his effort, but what I don't hear from people is that Baskin is the guy behind the scenes that's crunching numbers, that's running plays, that's constantly, constantly thinking about the game. I think Divios is probably the patron saint of overinvestment as far as time is concerned. Um, but as I mentioned before, Vinay is a streamer. Vinay has put in a lot of work as far as trying to make sure that he's able to uh, put out content. And I think putting out content to a certain extent, makes you better because it locks you in. There's a conversation about putting in content and that it makes you worse because one, people see the shit that you're doing and two, you get burned out. But I think Fine OK is a perfect example of somebody that has steadily improved because he's putting out content. It's the idea of homework. Homework kind of fucking sucks and homework for the most part is fucking stupid. But there's a small amount, and I always point to foreign language homework, where you're just going to write the same sentence over and over again. ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Right? And you do that over and over again and it ingrains in your brain. And now you've actually got it. Now you actually have learned it. And it's supplementary to the lesson that you took at class or whatever. That is kind of what streaming and, and, and making content and making videos can be to a certain extent. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to kill yourself. You don't want to... Uh, over invest your time into it but i think vinenu kind of hits that stride as a teacher kind of kept me more involved with my music right because you're you know it but you're teaching it you're going over it and that keeps it fresh in your mind so i think vinenu is a guy that's going to be working off the field as well whether he's making content probably going to slow down because of the ramp up to worlds but i think vinenu is much more willing to sit in with that team and kind of crunch numbers and look at compositions which is something that ssg has failed miserably at their drafts are always trash and so i think that the addition of the addition of vinenu will kind of help them in that regard i also heard some rumors about a coach for space station which would be fantastic because again i think that their their issues primarily are picks and bands oriented and kind of communication and i think with with vinenu here i think that the vinenu will will assist in in both regards so i think this is a very positive situation for ssg also if we take a look at the placement bracket you can see sk gaming and no ping that's an easy win. And then whether they play Rival, Armada, CLG, or Atletico, I think that, while not easy, uh, spoiler alert, I think it's CLG or Rival, I think Space Station Gaming has both of those teams in a best of three, which brings them to the semifinals, which makes them DreamHack eligible. I think this is, is absolutely a bracket that could befit Space Station Gaming. I think this is absolutely a scenario with Venenu that could befit Space Station Gaming. So if you're a Space Station fan, this is the most exciting time of the season. I haven't been this excited about Space Station since the spring split. I said that they were playing so good that they were looking like, they were finally, for the first time, looking like the team that won a world championship under the cognitive prime 
banner. I didn't see that in summer and fall. Vanenu might be the guy to bring it back. He just might be. Let me know your feelings. If you agree or disagree, everybody loving Barracuda. Hopefully, y'all love me. Leave a like and a subscription and all that fun shit. Anyway, I'm streaming as well. Twitch.tv slash FSwag. Follow me. Just don't follow me home. Peace. Much love to you. Peace.